We are now recording our Chaos Diversity and Inclusion Working Group meeting on February 19, 2020. Welcome, everyone. We already shared the meeting minutes in the chat. And we don't have an agenda yet. So we are free to do whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> So just recapping where we are right now, we I think this is the first real meeting after the metrics release and after ChaosCon. So are there any we can reflect maybe on that metrics release? Yeah, so I mean, maybe the two things that come to my mind are obviously taking a look at the metrics release, like you had pointed out, Georg, and um, maybe thinking towards the future as what metrics might be candidates moving forward, number one. And then number two is Matt and Sala have been working on the DNI badging process. And I think this is a really good group to really think through the processes or ask questions. So those are my two thoughts. Hi, Amy. Hello. Hi, Amy. I will mute just in case of dogs barking. So <laughs> okay. say my name, it'll take me a second. No problem. Excellent. So the metric release, if we start there, I'm going to post the link in the minutes. OK. So I posted the chaos. Com this I'm in the wrong there in I the did. wrong day. <laughs> I was uh, in the past. <laughs> I dropped them in there. Excellent. Thanks, Matt. Yeah. So if you reflect on the metrics we have right now, I can also share my screen so we capture in the recording where we are. Emma's on too. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Hey. Sorry, I'm just um, camera muted because I'm getting everyone ready for school. No so, problem. Nice to see you all. <laughs> yeah, it's really good to see you. Yeah. So just to reflect on what we have already accomplished, we have in the chaos metric release for the diversity inclusion working group, several event diversity metrics, attendee demographics, code of conduct at event, diversity access ticket, family friendliness speaker demographics. We added uh, attendee demographics and speaker demographics this time around. And then in governance, we have board council diversity and code of conduct for project. And I think we added the board council diversity in this release. And then in leadership, we have mentorship and sponsorship. I'm not quite sure if both of these are new or just sponsorship. So we already accomplished quite a bit. Are there any thoughts on what we released so far? Um, could I just point out, um, I think sponsorship, it, it was the first time I, I hear the word in the context it's used here. And I, I obviously related that to the uh, idea of, okay, you, you know, you're, you're, you're not just um, helping the person um, be mentored, you're, you're rather uh, helping that person, um, you know, grow in a capacity that you believe they can get to and, and help them get promoted, um, you know, to meet that um, role or capacity. Um, I, I'm just seeing that there is a parallel to this that can be very useful uh, for uh, inclusion um, when we're talking about people who have capacity differences, um, like they do things their own way, it works for them. Um, it looks from the outside like it's not the usual. Um, so, um, you know, when, when someone is, is functioning in a less usual way, 
um, other people may not notice or utilize um, their less usual way of getting things done. So, so, you know, I'm just dwelling on this to say that there is a model um, that maybe does not exist yet, uh, but is at the heart of diversity and inclusion. Uh, when we say people do things in the way that works for them um, and how we might want to consider um, a path to, to in, you know, include, not assimilate, but include, um, you know, the, the, that difference and, and, and benefit from it and, and have it actually be a contribution. So sorry to dwell there. Salah, I was jotting down a few of your few of your thoughts. I don't know how well I'm capturing it in that bullet point under sponsorship. I don't know if you're in the Google Doc. Yeah, no, I'm there. I, I don't think there was a chance to capture much. It's like, it, it, it's all like just, um, yeah, it's all watery things, right? So it, it, it's just, yeah, not a firm idea, but ju just empowerment. Um, of the difference, not, not you know, instead of, or or you know, in spite of the difference, we're we're including. It's actually because of the difference we're including, and that will require um, some sort of a different form of mentorship slash sponsorship. Okay, you know, because it kind of like uh, you have to trust what you may not be able to see, but you have faith should be there. Or else that person, you know, would not have been um, successful otherwise, right? Um, that gets lost when you have to defend why, you know, you're not doing the usual all the time. Yep. Okay. That's good. And yeah. I think I think we captured this somewhat in our metric here as well, asking specifically, are you sponsoring someone different from yourself? Yeah. 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 So, so, so I think it's a good point to make. Yeah, so 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 I'm I'm just not sure where we're taking all the mumbling that I do, but I know it's going somewhere, and I'm we'll capture I'm, it. Yeah, I've been with it, so thanks. Right on. So then, as we think about moving forward, mm -hmm. we can go look at our metrics and focus areas that we have not defined yet. And I don't know how we want to proceed. Maybe we just choose a focus area or metrics that we want to work on going into the next release or are there other points of discussion?